welcome back to the channel thanks for coming back with me guys chin cycling this is where we talk about bikes gear nutrition riding and racing for the everyday person not professionals although if you are a professional you might find these videos entertaining still so enjoy so guys today i'm uh, i'm really excited man i get to make a video that i've been wanting to make for a long time since i got this bike and this is all about my ribble ultra slr man this is actually my dream bike man this bike is just fantastic and i'm gonna get into all the technical details everything i got on the bike everything like that but you know what the first thing i want to do is just make sure i can i can tell you guys how does this bike feel how does it ride you know how does it perform because there's really no videos on this bike there's not a lot of information you know so you know let's get into it i mean how did i find out about the bike that's the first thing well i'm always on youtube i'm always checking out what's new you know tech i love all that guys i, I consume that stuff all day I'm watching uh, race highlights, you know, all that stuff. So of course it popped up on my feed and um, I watched the video, man, I was blown away. I'm like, this bike looks crazy. You know, is, is it even real? I mean, is it available? Of course, at that time it was not because it came out in August, 2021. And you know, there was a lot of COVID at that time and a lot of delays on everything, you know so um and anyway at that time i really wasn't wasn't ready to buy a new bike at that time so uh a year later 2022 uh i was ready i was ready i was on the market so i said you know what let me take a look at this bike again and see what's going on and guys it was available and the price was actually really good i mean in comparison to you know big name brand bikes and and uh for a frame because i bought this as frame only and so um for the frame with the import fees because guys this bike is from the uk it's from england so it ships you know over here you gotta pay a little fee for that but um it came out to about thirty five hundred dollars for the frame and it, the frame comes with the seat post you know the fork of course and this crazy looking handlebar that yes it is super comfortable and i'll tell you what those curves are about later in the video so man guys you know what let me tell you last month i had a 200 mile race across florida and you know how did it feel wow. Riding hard, man. About 22 miles an hour. Nice. After 167. Yeah, after 167, they're doing about 22. How did it perform? It felt absolutely fantastic, man. The bike just feels smooth and fast all the time and yes here in florida we don't have a lot of elevation that race although it was coast to coast it was from ormond beach to cedar key and um it was about three thousand feet of elevation something like that uh man the bike just felt great it went over those rolling hills like nothing I never felt like it was heavy or anything like that. Um, it just, it feels great, man. And I do have 25s on here, not even 28s. I don't think you need 28s really, unless you're a bigger guy or something like that. You know, I'm 5'8", 149 pounds. And I got these 25 Continental STRs, tubeless. I run them at 60 PSI and this bike is super comfortable, man it's always smooth and so yeah you know um the rides that i like to do are more um like the fast harder rides that we have here in south florida 
that's the rides that I really love and pretty much that's all I do and um, it, it's just fun to me I just like I like riding hard I like going fast and this is the perfect bike for that guys perfect bike for me at least I think and so um let's get into it you know I got uh my wheels what kind of wheels are these these are the Envy SCS 6.7s they are hookless it's a 60 millimeter in the front 67 in the rear and no the crosswinds do not you know turn the bike upside down it feels fine guys it feels fine I'm not a big guy and the crosswinds don't bother me you know this chain ring shout out GC performance man I saw this chain ring on GC performance because he had just put this on one of his bikes and this chain ring is from Poland from a company called Alugear and uh, it's a 54 tooth I did have 54 uh, on on there before and uh, what happened is I put it one by I just did this a few days ago because after I finished the 200 mile I never used I realized I never used the little ring so if I can do a 200 mile across the state and never use the little ring I don't need it so I took it off and I put it one by and it's been great um, and so also back here guys is a 1125 cassette it's a Dorace 9170 Di2 system and uh, I don't see the need for 12 speed especially here in Florida where everything's flat it's just extra weight in my opinion in my opinion I have here the Asioma duos the gold standard of power meters guys it makes it so easy and convenient to switch between bikes and still have that reading you know I don't do any special training guys I just like to ride hard but I do like to see my numbers so I you know I put those pedals on whatever it is that I'm I'm riding and so yeah Dora Ace rotors um, supercast bar tape guys the handlebar is a 36 from the hoods 36 millimeters and then on the bottom it flares to 40 and they say you know for descending and sprinting it's better to have some flare so um Cell Italia SLR boost carbon saddle fantastic saddle very comfortable and um okay yeah and so Dora Ace brakes like I said I got the Continental tubeless STR tires 25 millimeters super cast bottle cage guys super light and um what else what else man acceleration stiffness handling I, I, I cannot find a weakness in this bike it took them three years to design it guys in the wind tunnel working with Formula One engineers and all kind of stuff man can you imagine three years to build a bicycle you know it has to be fast right I think so so they say they made the most aerodynamic bike in the world and uh, I think they did it I think they did it man and whoever came up with this man kudos to you man you did a great job great job and so also yeah like I told you guys let's get into this bar this bar actually creates an air wake that comes over your legs and allows you to move through the air faster that's uh that's a major part of the bike does it work well I think it works like I said guys I just with this it just feels like I got a little extra that I never had on any other bike and um, man it's been a dream it's a dream for me it's my dream bike guys and uh, it's super stiff but at the same time, like I said, because of the tires, I run them at 50, uh, 60 PSI, sorry. And it just feels smooth, guys. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. I don't have any complaints with that. You know, aero, it's fast. It holds the speed really well. They optimized it to be um, 
to be uh, more efficient at 22 and 29 miles an hour. And that is definitely true because that you feel it. You hit 22 and it's like, hmm, this feels easy. This feels easier than, than normal. You hit 29 and it's like, wow, that feels a little easier than normal. You know, it just holds the speed very well, man. Guys, I would highly recommend it. But um, I just had to do this video, get this bike some attention, man, because it, it deserves some attention, you know? And so, guys, also, guys, something I forgot to say was the size and the weight. Sorry about that. But the before I put the bike to a one by, it weighed 18.1. And then after I took the derailleur and all that off, it came down to 17.7. Yo, my dad, as a matter of fact, 16 is just right. No, you have to go left, That not level properly, Baba. It's a move. You almost get the six. Almost. Huh? and it is a size small but you know like i said guys the thing with this bike you never feel the weight it never feels heavy at all it just feels fast man also the brake rotors front and rear are 140 millimeter not 160 because um i'm just not that big if, if you're not that big you really don't need a 160 rotor so i stuck with 140 front and rear also helps keep the weight down too so that's a plus we'll be back with more videos and um i'll be showing you my rides i'll be showing you my races and things like that guys i am not a professional as i said although professionals you will probably find these videos very entertaining because you'll see how somebody that you know doesn't have any kind of structure just kind of loves competing and riding hard and having fun man that's what it's all about so guys thanks for sticking with me through the video and i'll be back with more don't forget like subscribe and um i'll be back man i'll be back real soon peace